relinquishing control for me. Often it looks like, okay, uh, I, I'm supposed to help my help my brother or sister carry the mm -hmm. overwhelming, crushing burden, mm -hmm. um, but I can't carry it for them and I can't carry the load that only they can carry yes. as well. Right. I know for me, a, a season um, a couple of years ago and um, there were just a lot of things going wrong in multiple areas and I wanted to fix it yeah. all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, and I remember very gently hearing the voice of the Lord one day say, Brooke, you're, you're acting like an orphan mm. and you're not. Wow. And, um, and he said, come, come back into my fatherhood. Yes. Come back un, into my fathering. And I was like, you're so right. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. And the kindness that he yes. would say it like yes. that as well, not yes. just like, Bro, come on, get in line. Yeah. Just right. like, you're acting like an orphan. Come, yes. come back into my, into my yeah. fathering and my fatherhood. And, wow. and I often find that for myself that a way that I um, have noticed that I try to get control is actually by, um, by, being what Oswald Chambers would call an amateur providence. <laughs> I, I, I see a need mm -hmm. and I want to fill that need yes. rather than going, Lord, is this a need you want me to fill in this yeah. person's yeah. life? Yeah. Right. Or by stepping in, am I actually being an amateur providence mm -hmm. when uh, and when uh, and providing a shadow wow. of the provision that you actually want to yes. pour mm -hmm. into this person? Mm -hmm. And um, that to me connects with um, Galatians 6. Um, in verse 2 it says, carry each other's burdens, mm -hmm. but each one must carry his own load. Yeah. So what's mm -hmm. the difference between a burden and a load? Mm -hmm. And as I studied that, the that in verse 2 where it's that word for Burden, it's the word bare, which means something overwhelming, crushing, mm -hmm. unbearable. Mm -hmm. And that's the burden that the Lord says, carry, help carry each other's mm -hmm. burdens. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're not okay. crushed. Right. But then in verse 5 or 7, I can't remember which one it is, but where it says carry, each one must carry his own load, that's the word fortune. But that means something manageable and something wow. as standard cargo. It's the, it's, the, it's the word that was used for like a soldier's back. Wow. Like, and and you can't transfer. You're supposed to carry your own load. Like I can't, I can't transfer the load of my own marriage to my friend. Right. Yeah, like right. that's that's my yeah. load that I must carry. Mm -hmm. And so, for me, that's and that great. and that um, that relinquishing control for me often it looks like okay, uh, I I'm supposed to help my help my brother or sister carry the mm -hmm. overwhelming crushing burden, mm -hmm. um, but I can't carry it for them, and I can't carry the load that only they can carry yes. as well. Right. So for me, yes. I've just noticed that's how. I was talking to a friend a few months ago, actually, and um, and and I'm not that smart, um, but sometimes the Lord puts things in my mouth that I haven't even thought about. I'm like, oh Lord, I think that might be true. Um, and and one of the things that came out of my mouth when we were talking was we were talking about prayer, and I was saying um, I said something to the effect of um, prayer, prayer is a shifting of the burdens that aren't mine to carry, and a lightening of the ones that are. Uh, and so I think prayer is really the place where we work that out with the Lord. Lord, um, what am I carrying that you actually haven't asked me to carry? And it's and you're, you're inviting me to lay that down. And then what is the burden that actually is part of my assignment in this season? And Lord, would you um, remind me uh, that I have the grace and your strength um, to be able to carry it? I mean, that's incredible because it is as the person who would want to help supply or provide, right? Mm -hmm. the, the awareness of he's, he is um, a father that provides all we need. So why am I stepping in prematurely? Exactly like mm -hmm. you're saying. I also think for the person who's experiencing need or feels like I can't do this, mm -hmm. um, it's, I think we, we tend to, you know, control and, and it's a process of, lifelong process of relinquishing that to the Lord. But sometimes the next more comfortable step is to relinquish that to um, somebody else and just mm -hmm. want them to take our pastor. Our, and mm -hmm. then we have these mini saviors mm -hmm. everywhere. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it's, again, it's like the Old Testament when they're like, we want a king, we want a king, mm -hmm. we want a king. And the Lord's saying, I like, I, mean, I am I your king. Want, yeah. I wanted to be king yeah. for you. Yeah. And I think... Um, it is like we can hold on to control ourselves. We can place it on somebody who we think will get us, mm -hmm. you know, what we need. But our design is to be fathered. Mm -hmm. Our design is, is to, mm -hmm. to fall into trust and dependence with the Lord and know that it's wisdom, even if I don't see how this is going to work out, mm -hmm. even if it's not adding up, even if, you know, th this could all fall. Um, he's my best bet. 
Mm. You know what I'm absolutely. saying? Like, it's, this is my, yeah. this is my best bet. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. At, where else would I go? Right. right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I do yeah. think, I, I love what you're saying about, um, it caused me to like kind of pause when you're like, our our flesh, our, our bodies here will always kind of work that process out, mm-hmm. but our spirits will grow to know that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that is some of the spirit right. speaking, where else would I go? Mm-hmm. You know, and like yeah. the more you practice it, the more you practice, the more you practice, the more right. you see that right. person, though amazing, couldn't, they didn't do that for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That my own hands didn't supply didn't that. that. That's right. And we yeah. begin to train our spirits right. for something. That's right different where they get to, they get to know our spirits know something deeper. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. so I love that. I've never really Mm. thought that before. Like, yes, our, our, our bodies, our, our logic, everything will probably continue. Yeah. We'll have be agitated, Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. toward the Lord, but our spirits get to grow every single time we choose. Um, so yeah. I just, yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I love what, what Brooke was saying too, as far as, because I think that's really what we work out of mm-hmm. when we try to take control. And that is the spirit of an orphan. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, when we understand who our father is, mm-hmm. you know, it's yes. like, let's yeah. lay back and relax. Yeah. You know, yes. you know we, we can sleep in the boat like yeah. Jesus did mm-hmm. during, during the storm. When you yeah. understand, when you really, uh, see him as your father. Yeah. Uh, and going back again, what Brooke said, it's like, it is, it's, a, it's what the Bible says, a straight is the way and narrow is the path. Yes. It's a narrow path. Yeah. It's a discipline mm. of, of living in his presence. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Living in his fatherhood. Mm. Yeah. And, and that's what we have to consistently walk towards, Yes, you know, and it's something our, our flesh fights, yeah. <laughs> it wars against the spirit every mm-hmm. time. Yeah. Um, but, but when we really get that revelation that he's our father and for some reason he has to keep pushing us, mm-hmm. into, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, you yeah. did. Okay. You did mm-hmm. speak. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know, you have the power, you have the power and I'm just so glad that he does, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And so anybody who's watching, it's like, you got to learn to let go and let God, but, it, but it only comes through faith. And we know that yeah. faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God and really being in a real relationship with him. My story with my earthly father isn't one I often share because I don't want to throw my dad under the bus. But what I will say is I've had to learn as a teenager and an adult to live my life without a father figure and not to look to someone else to try and fill that role. And my wounds actually didn't make it hard for me to believe that God was a good father. Like I saw enough in scripture I saw enough in other people's life and I saw enough in my life to know that that was true. Um, But yet the pain of that absence was definitely very real. So I would just say, make God your first port of call. Like I want to go to you first to meet that need. And I want to keep thanking you that this isn't like a question of doubt, like are you a good father? But I want to thank you that you are and you are always with me. You will never leave me. You know, I love that passage in scripture that it talks about that parental role. You know, can a mother forsake the child at her breast? It's like, but even if she did, I will never forsake you. And I've written your name on the palms of my hands. And that goes for an absent father or an absent mother, that Jesus not just stands in that place if there isn't one, but he will stand in that place for everyone um, and be that redemptive, perfect father that everybody needs. The enemy wants to think, wants to make you think you have to protect yourself. Yes. yes. You know, yes. that you have, if I don't do it, who's going to do exactly. it? Exactly. You know, if I don't protect my children, who's going to protect yeah. me? Right. I don't fight for my marriage, who's going to fight, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And, and even though we all, like she said, we have load. a responsibility <laughs> to carry the Absolutely. load, but it's, make sure you carry what God has assigned you to carry. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. right. And not what you've put on your own back. Yes. A lot of us have put so much stuff on our own back. Yes. And it's like, God is like, like I never told you to carry yeah. that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. I never told you to carry yeah. that. Wow. Yeah. I've been going back to lately um, this week. The Lord said where well, he said, um, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but I was talking to my sisters, actually my sisters a couple of days ago. And um, they were saying, you know, the Lord says, you know, your yoke, his yoke is easy. My burden is light. Sometimes I'm like, but why does it feel like my yoke is heavy? 
Mm-hmm. My burden, you know, is, mm-hmm. is, is thick. It's, it's not mm-hmm. like, it's not mm-hmm. weightless, you know? Mm-hmm. And we started talking about it and it was like, oh, maybe it's because we're operating out of our own strength and we're not coming to him to exchange mm-hmm. his for ours, mm-hmm. you know? And sometimes we are, we're just working harder. We're not working smarter. We didn't go to him for solutions, for strategies, right. you know, certain things that he's maybe saying, you need not do that anymore. Yep. But we're like, well, this is what I've always done. This is my hustle. This is my grind. This is how I take care. Yes. This is how I provide. And sometimes he's like, just, just stop. Like take about 13 of those things off your plate and sit down like Mary. <laughs> yeah. Stop being yeah. a Martha, mm-hmm. you know, yes. and rest. And then you'll see that my yoke is easy. Yeah. And my burden is light because like you all said, sometimes it's what we put on ourselves yes. and not what God has actually added yes. to our bag. Yeah. Yes. Wisdom knows the difference. My tendency, I feel like for years people would talk about, you know, where, like, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Yeah. What are the dream, <laughs> what are the goals? And I think That's they're true. beautiful. Right? Like it's beautiful mm-hmm. to be guided by that. I always was kind of at a loss when people would ask, cause I'm like, I don't really know. Mm-hmm. I don't think. And I began mm-hmm. to realize the Lord's like, do you know, I don't tell you. <laughs> Right. What? Why? But they know. And he's like, yeah, but you, mm-hmm. <laughs> and with total affection, mm-hmm. you know, just him knowing right. me, he's like, yes, yeah. they know. But you and I, we don't do that yet because you would bulldoze your way from point A to point B. You would, it would hustle. It would be like throwing all this excess stuff on you to do it the way that you think Mm -hmm. you need to do to get there as soon as you could. There'd be no enjoyment. There would be no communion with me. There would be Mm -hmm. no dependence. The things that make life rich, Mm -hmm. you would fly past to fulfill it, right? And the point isn't the thing that we're, you know, that we get on the other side. The point is like, and I, and I leaned on the Lord mm-hmm. the whole way, yeah. Yeah. that reliance, that dependency, friendship with God. Yeah. Like I would completely bypass all of that and of blaze my did. way yeah. to mm-hmm. some kind of cheap imitation of it, you know? Yeah. And so him being like, we're not, we don't do that. Yeah, I, I right. realize other people, <laughs> we might do that, but yeah. we don't. I'm not convinced that other yeah. people, he really tells other people either. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, think, I know the Lord speaks and he right. does give us mm-hmm. words. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think it's good for us to have a desire as to where we want to go. Right. We want to do. But for me to definitively say in five years, I will be, yeah. is for me to pretend to be God. Well, if he didn't give me that word to tell me that I don't, I can't definitively say in five years, I'm going to be, I'm going, I could say I desire to be, right. you know, or unless the Lord gave me a word. Right. Otherwise I don't know the end from the beginning yeah, unless right. he tells me, unless it's by the spirit of God. Right. Otherwise I have to question by whose spirit did I reveal? Was it revealed to me? If God didn't reveal it to That's me, good. Then by whose spirit am I speaking? Wow. So we can, I think we can desire certain goals, but mm-hmm. I think there's certain things too. When people ask that question, like I, I say often, I want to be in the will of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really do. That's yeah. my goal. Yeah. And yeah. Where, regardless of where he places me. Now, do I have some private desires? Yes. But mm-hmm. like, like mm-hmm. Joseph or unlike Joseph, I think sometimes we need to be wise and we need to, um, incubate certain things and we need not to reveal it too soon. You know what I'm saying? Certain That's things good. we need to ponder like Mary in our hearts mm-hmm. and not good. just blab everywhere because it's not the time to reveal certain things. That's good. In a world where we can kind of hustle and make things happen for ourselves, um, I think the way to, to you know, giving up that control and, and letting God have that direct our paths is a bit like taking the words from Mary when she was told, hey, you're gonna be with child, uh, it's the Messiah. And she said, let it, be, let it be unto me as you've said. And I think we live that way, right? Let it be like, here's my plans, here's what I'd like, but let it be unto me as you have said. And we hold these things loosely. We recognize you're you're creating, you're birthing something in me, and I probably don't know what it looks like, um, but let it be unto me as you have spoken. And and then we really hold things loosely. I think I think we just need to keep our mindset in that place. This isn't mine. This life isn't mine. These plans aren't mine. They're the Lord's, so I'm going to entrust them back to Him as often as I can. I used to hear the the mothers in the church always say, we're going to do this and this tomorrow if the Lord wills. Well, if the Lord wills, I still say that my kids, if the Lord wills, you better put that on there. That's in scripture, if If the Lord Lord wills. wills. Anything other than that is I mean, it could be tomorrow we're going to 
have a picnic if the <laughs> Lord <laughs> will. I said down to my kids all the time. Like, the Lord ah, will. <laughs> so, so God is not against us planning, but we have to wear it loosely That's if right. the Lord yes. will. Because yes. I can oh. look over my life and say, oh, this was not my plan. <laughs> this is not the way I thought it would happen. Yes. But thank God it didn't happen yes. the way I wanted thank it you. to. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like wearing it loosely. Yes. Sometimes like people think, well, I don't plan at all. No, no yeah, God yeah. gives us yeah. and he blesses that. He yes. establishes yes. that. But yes. if the Lord will. If the Lord mm -hmm. will. Absolutely. It's a bit like Brooke saying like the, the wonder of it all the is like, is what that is. Like mm -hmm. if that's the direction we go or another one. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, thank goodness it wasn't the things that I thought right. life would look like. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but that for me has been like, okay, so I keep my head down mm -hmm. and take the next step according to his voice, do my best to take the one after. Mm -hmm. And then at sweet moments, him saying, Hey, look up. Yeah. yeah. And there's something that you could have never Hallelujah. worked right. for. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's wonder. Right. That's, that's wonder. like, I that's didn't, right. all the work, the effort, the steps mm -hmm. I took could never have produced that. That's ever. right. Ever. That's and right. then you put your head back Hallelujah. down yes. and you continue to follow. That's and I'm right. like, and all yes. yes. <laughs> because that's right. Yes. Like when you look Hallelujah. up, is that not the most beautiful the gift that you could never produce? Never. A plus B doesn't equal that. No, that's my right. math falls no, short. Everything. Every single time. Is bad yeah. in comparison <laughs> is yeah. though it is like there is you know that step by step feels like surely this isn't getting me anywhere you right. know that right. that's the miraculous that's, that's the, right. wonder. That is the wonder and I and I think we do we end up um missing out I think mm -hmm. it's just the father's heart that we wouldn't miss out yeah. on the sweetness of that the yeah. the looking up and like oh you gave that to me mm -hmm. you had that in your heart mm -hmm. for me and all it took mm -hmm. was following you and yeah that Follow. was hard yeah. but I think I you know I think it's just a matter of life abundant what we're mm -hmm. talking about you know what I'm saying yeah. it's like faith actually can produce surprises yeah. and beautiful gifts that the work of our hands would never, never. result in you know that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And, and back to even what I was saying too, like, it's not that we don't desire because I've desired great things and God has given me great mm -hmm. things. Right. We do say we, we plan to go on tour if the Lord was. We do right. those things. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What I'm grappling with is sometimes our timetable. You know, God may say, I'm mm -hmm. going to do this in your life. That's good. But for me to say, by the age of 25, I will have <laughs> yeah. this. By the no. age of 30, I will have yeah. that. I can desire, I can hope that I will. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't, does it mean that God didn't show up? Mm -hmm. Does it mean that it wasn't what he had for me? Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like going back to Joseph again. What God told him, I think, took, what, 13 more years to come about? He was mm -hmm. 17. Yeah. It was age 30 when he right. became what God, what he saw in his right. dreams. Yeah. But what about when he was 20? Did he think that, hey, this couldn't be it? You know, because mm -hmm. it didn't happen when I thought it mm -hmm. would. And so I think part of what we have to do at times too is remember to give up control of the timetable. Time table. That's huge. You know? Yeah. yeah. When, you know, it says in scripture, my times are in his hand. Mm -hmm. It's like, that is that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And I know anytime I ever put a time on it, it became <sighs> such a snare. Mm. And I only suffered disappointment. Yeah. Wow. I can't think of one yeah. time I set a goal mm -hmm. right. and it came through and it worked out. Right. In fact, it actually, I remember saying, I want to have three kids by the time I'm, you yeah. know, I'm 30. Right. I had six miscarriages. Mm -hmm. So I set that time. I now have five children. So it wasn't that God Jesus. didn't want me to have that seed of desire, yes. that dream. Yes. But when I put a date on it, it's good, but... disappointment and yeah. suffering and like, God, where are you? So yeah. I never said yeah. that. You said you that. Said mm. that. <laughs> if your times are in my hands, then wait, mm. wait for me. We want everything now. You know, if God tells us something or we feel like we have a, a hope or a dream that we believe is according to God's will, most of us... Okay, I'm just going to speak for me. I'm like, can we just go ahead and get it, you know, get to the, the punchline? Can we get to the finish line? But what we would miss out on with it, with us uh, adopting our timeline instead of God's is the process of maturation, the process of us getting to know His character, His ways, His heart, us being able to see His faithfulness. And that comes from time. That's not just a snap your finger, now you know, snap your finger, now you're faithful. And so I think there is um, there's an expensive uh, uh, I don't know there, there's beauty I'll say in exchanging and entrusting his time 
four hours because his is, everything is well done. Everything is fully baked. Ours, our plans would be gooey, underbaked, not so good. Trust me, I know this. I remember when I was younger and I heard this uh, sermon on, you know, the doors that he opens, no one can shut. Mm -hmm. The doors that he yeah. shuts, no one can open. And I remember just getting so excited as a teenager to be like, oh my goodness, like, you're going to be completely controlled of my life. And I would have these crushes and I'd be like, oh my gosh, like shut it down if it's not meant to be. And then mm. it would get shut down. I was like, oh, oh okay, yeah, this yeah, is not yeah, the yeah, like, I know, exactly. <laughs> there. Like, yes, yes. You're actually doing yes, it. Exactly. But being yeah. excited wow. and having yes. two yes. pathways yes. and going, oh my gosh, it's shut great. the door. Yes. Yes. Shut, oh, and then seeing yes. this door of opportunity, mm. I would have loved it. Yeah, I would absolutely. have loved it. Yeah. But God's like, no, no it's this. And I'm this. like, oh my gosh, it's this because you ordained it. And yeah. I'm, I'm going, be in control. Take yes. it, do it. Wow. And watching him be true Hallelujah. to his word, wow. it's so good. It was yes. so good for my faith. Yeah. Even then, and I just hope someone listening right now, mm -hmm. if they're like looking at two possibilities or hopes and dreams, they're like, okay, Lord, shut it, shut, shut it. it. Yes. Not because yes. I only want to be yes. where you are. Yes. If you're not there, there could be chaos there. Yeah, there could be right. disappointment that's there. Right. I only want to be where you are. That's Maybe right. that will give someone some encouragement. Yes, that's, that's awesome. We started talking about Mount Sinai, right? And then the kind of the impatience starting to creep in and we want something we can see and very normal human things. But then on the other hand, you have Moses who is saying that exact same thing. I'm not going where you're not. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not moving ahead That's of right. you, God. You don't go, and you I'm have this going. fascinating, yeah. these two stories, and there's, like, fool's gold. Like, we're, we're taking off of our hands and what we have and, mm. and conjuring up something. Mm. And then you have Moses who's willing to wait until his face turns to gold for the real thing. Mm. Like, I'll take your Come back yes. if that's what I get yes. because I'm not yes. settling yes. for less. I'm not settling just yes. for fulfilling goals and the things that I think I want. Mm. I will wait. Yes, and I'm not moving ahead. I'm not going back. Yeah. like this is it for me yeah. you know and I think that those mm. are like when our spirits get to that point of like I've seen too yeah, much I've seen too much yeah. and I'm not moving yeah. ahead mm. without yes, you God. there's where's yeah. the joy where's the peace mm -hmm. like um where do I have to go beside yeah. you and I think we have this fascinating parallel of two different roads that the Israelites took mm -hmm. and then you have Moses in mm -hmm. like indignation saying mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. not mm -hmm. I will yeah. not move ahead without you and then his face shone with glory yeah. mm -hmm. right by even just the revealing of God's back mm -hmm. the whisper mm -hmm. yeah. the mm -hmm. waiting you know and yeah. I'm like oh is that that's the kind of that's the kind of follower I want to be. Yeah. I'm just not, I'm, if you give me one step, I take one, not two. Yeah. That's right. You yeah. know, if you give yeah. me, if you give me this path forward, I'm not trying to peer ahead like, well, and then yeah. what, you know, like yeah. actually I'm yeah. contenting myself yeah. in yeah. the yeah. fellowship yeah. of the Lord with me yeah. right with now. You. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because the thing I think I want all the way over there, if mm -hmm. it's not him, I actually don't want it. Right. Yeah. Does yeah. that make sense? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. not the thing that I want. Yeah, right. What I want to have right now, and that's him. That's what right. I have right now, and that, those are the things I need to remind my spirit of. Right. Yeah. You have right now everything that you need. Mm -hmm. You actually, everything, everything. every desire, everything. every need yes. is fulfilled in the presence of Jesus who is here with us now. We don't have to worry about going off on our own. I won't yeah. move ahead without you because we have Emmanuel right, right here, right but I here. will turn and acknowledge that you yeah. are better than the goal, than the next step, than the, right. you are the promise fulfilled. You, yes, right. absolutely right. You are the prophetic word. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. he is the You're great in. reward. Yes, right. Lord. And I think that's the like, that's where I'm like, I have to tell my mind that's mm -hmm. true. Remember, mm -hmm. he is a great reward and I have yeah. him now mm -hmm. and yeah. nothing can separate. Yeah. Right. So yeah. what am I in need of? Yeah. You know, and yeah. certainly there are things I, yeah. I can yeah. Yeah. develop a list, but that right. is truth. That's true. That we realign yeah. ourselves with. That's true. You know? And I just love, I think it does come down to, I don't want to go where you're not. Yeah. I'll take the path where you are. Yeah. yeah. No matter how much it feels like it costs me or yeah. it's not the thing I envisioned or, yeah. or my heart might have to process that. Yeah. yeah. Cause that yeah. happens too, you know, <laughs> so but good. I just love that. Well, I think we're asked so many questions in life, aren't we? You know, what do you want to do with your life? Where do you see your life going? And it's almost like the world can just keep handing you the reins. 
And before you run away with yourself with that question, you go, God, I just want to give you those reins right back. Like, what do you want me to do? Where should I be? Um, is this a season of waiting? And is this a season of going? Is this a season of planting? Is this a season of, you know, tearing up? There's a season for everything, an activity for every season under heaven. And so I think for me, it's not letting people put pressure on me or not letting me be pressured by people, but just going, that sounds like a great idea, but God, is this your purpose for my life? It takes a lot of discipline, but um, yeah, I found resisting pressure is a beautiful way to let God have control. Yeah. It randomly brings to mind uh, <laughs> the, the census, right? Mm-hmm. Whenever the, when, when Israel took the census and God was outraged mm-hmm. and, and deeply offended. I read that for years and I'm just a bit slower than other people, but I just didn't get it. Mm-hmm. I was like, why is that such a big deal? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then it wasn't until I realized, oh, because they were, they were trying to tally up their own resources mm-hmm. to see if their mm-hmm. own resources mm-hmm. yep. could accomplish mm-hmm. the promise yeah. of God. Wow. And it's exactly what you were saying about when we are discontented and start counting up, well, God said this, mm. but do I have this, this, and this that I need? Yes. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and so to me, it, it puts the, the, the fear of the Lord in me to read yeah. about how the census was yeah. in, in Israel was so grievous to God right. because, because again, they were running from his fatherhood and his lordship mm-hmm. and his kingship and going, do we have the control? Do we have the resources that we need yes. to wow. do what God has said? Right. And I think we all, can can catch ourselves doing that in tiny ways like yes. and what I have to ask myself in what ways today where am I taking a census Ooh, <laughs> you yeah. know mm-hmm. and, 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 yeah. and for people watching as well where That's are we taking good. a census where yeah. are we trying to figure out how we, we can, can accomplish mm-hmm. what the Lord has said Oh, um, so and good. and why not relinquish that today and go I'm I'm so sorry God that I've been trying to count count my own resources um, instead of um, relying wholly on your promise and stepping into that. And I think that's, and I think that that is actually such a release and a lifting of a burden when we can do that, when we can stop taking tallies um, of our own resources um, and, and, and truly step into the the wholeness and the fullness of being his, his child and being fathered and led by him, which I think just ties into what you were, what you were saying.